I literally feel scammed right now. Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are decorating for Christmas. If you guys know me, you know that I love Christmas. I go all out for it every single year. So I am so excited to be decorating for it with you guys. I'm so excited to take you guys along and share any tips for decorating for Christmas that I have. Let me show you guys what we have and kind of like where we're at. First of all, I emptied out my Christmas bins. I have multiple of them and I've just kind of been like spreading them around just to see everything that I have. I have even more over there. So this is like a nice little overview of what we have. And then the only thing that I've done so far I put up my tree this is my tree let's light her up ah, this tree is stunning she's from Costco I got her for like $200 off so check out Costco because it is the most amazing tree you don't even have to fluff it or anything that is the only thing that I've done so far I've had this up for a while I just haven't decorated it yet but now we're finally getting to it out of everything that I'm decorating most of the stuff is from Amazon if it's from Amazon I'll link it down below or it's from home goods or stuff that I've had for years so talking about my tree theme <laughs> so last year I did like a candy cane theme so I had like candy cane ribbon and a bunch of that stuff this year I think that I want to use this plaid ribbon I did an Instagram story if you guys are not following me on Instagram go ahead and do that I'm just kidding. I mean, you can if you want because I wanted to ask you guys' opinion on what decorations I should use for my tree this year. Like, what should my theme be? And so I think I'm going to use this cute little plaid ribbon and then these little, like, garland string balls. I also have these candy canes as an option, but I think I might use that other places in my apartment and stick with this for the theme. So I'm really excited. Obviously, I'm a 22-year-old girl. I don't know that much. So I found this account last year and it really helped me, like, elevate my tree to something that's, like, grand and not just, like, a bunch of ornaments on a tree it's called inspired by charm go follow this guy but he has a video on how to ribbon your tree so i'm going to watch this and give myself a little refresh and then we're going to start ribboning the tree if i'm being honest i'm a little scared because i know how big of a project this is going to be i remember it took me like several days to decorate my christmas tree last year this thing needs wait intermission hopefully now that i have experience kind of going all out for a christmas tree it won't take that long but some of the biggest takeaways that i took from that video i'll link it down below if i can remember you want to find a ribbon with some kind of wire so this ribbon has wire on both sides this ribbon is from home goods in case you guys are wondering the wiring will really help you hold its shape and kind of give you the shape that you want it to look you want the ribbon to look very like natural and free flowing what is this there's like cardboard in the what why is there cardboard <gasps> Is there seriously not that much ribbon and half of this spool is just cardboard? I literally feel scammed right now. That is so disappointing. Half of this, there's just cardboard in between this just to make it look thicker. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Wish me the best of luck. <laughs> So what you want to do is you want to get the ribbon and tuck it in into some like crevices. You want it to look like natural and loose and like it just kind of happened that way. One other thing that I'm doing here that I took inspiration from that video is I'm not going straight across from the tree. I'm kind of, you can see how I'm like looping it to the side. I think I'm going to go back up. I don't want it to just be like lines of ribbon. Also right here, if you can see, I did a little twist in it just so it could have some like movement. And then I'm kind of messing with with the wire so it like looks you know, very free flowing but again i have no idea what i'm doing i'm an amateur so like you can take my advice all you want but like what do i actually know nothing 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 i'm also varying sizes those are probably like the three biggest takeaways that i learned from that video is you want a ribbon with a wire you want to vary the sizes of some of like the little burrows and like nests of ribbon that you make so some will be bigger than others and then you want to twist some to give it a nice movement in life i'm gonna listen to some christmas music now and we're gonna do a time lapse. But those are my tips for the ribbon. I'll update you guys if it turns out well or if it turns out bad. If I'm being honest, I'm not obsessed with it, but I'm never obsessed with it. Every year I'm always like, eh, I feel like I could use like something maybe here in the middle. Like maybe I'll take this one and kind of widen it a little bit, make it a little bit bigger so there'll be more ribbon in the center. See, did that help? See, this is why I like having the wired ribbon because you can kind of like adjust how it looks. So if you want it to kind of like pop out more, sink in, the wire really helps do that. Eh, I think it's all right. I mean, it's nothing special, but the ornaments will definitely help. One thing that I actually did that the video didn't recommend, but I 
do and I personally like I did this last year is I cut them into smaller pieces so like up here it's one giant piece but I kind of wanted to add some in areas so like I did like little chunks of it it saves a lot more ribbon because if you were to use just one giant piece like there's there's a lot of ribbon up here and I didn't have enough and when you have a lot of ribbon you have to like shove a lot in the center of the tree that you don't see so cutting it into smaller pieces definitely helps with that saving some ribbon and making sure that you get ribbon everywhere that you want it to be one thing about me too is I really don't decorate the back of my tree like the back of my tree will be pretty sparse I tried to decorate like the sides of it so people can see it if they're like walking in but the back of the tree that's facing the wall I personally don't waste my time in to decorate the next thing that I'm gonna do to really like elevate my Christmas tree is add big giant ornaments and these are big giant ornaments when I say big giant ornaments I mean big giant ornaments these are them like compare them to the size of my hand they're big so I think I got these last year from like where did I even get these from maybe like Lowe's or like it was like some home improvement store but they're huge they're a lot bigger than like a regular ornament like let me compare comparing to regular ornaments this is obviously huge but what this does is it kind of like breaks up some of the space where you want to put these is in these kind of holes like do you see how the Christmas tree has a couple just like blank empty holes that is where you want to put these giant ornaments and you want to do these first I will probably fix this and make it look a little bit better and when you do this you kind of want to push it back a little bit like you don't want them standing out too much you kind of want them just to be like nestled in these giant gaps I think I might move it a little bit forward but you understand the idea so that is our next step Once again, not obsessed. Doing a tree is like being creative and just playing around with things. So if when I add more ornaments, I decide that I don't like these where they are, I'll move them around. I think I used nine of them. You don't even need nine. I think maybe it was even too much. I tried to avoid keeping them at the top because last year I had some at the top and they just kind of like bulged out a little too much for my liking. So I like to have them lower kind of deeper in the tree. I also cut myself like I'm bleeding. This is my very first time using this tree from Costco. I had like a really cheap tree from Amazon last year because this one is just so much fuller it's just so much easier to place things like there isn't really as many empty big holes as my last tree so if you have a kind of cheaper tree with a lot of holes these bigger ornaments are the way to go I'll try to find some and link them down below for you guys they can definitely add up I think I got them on sale so if you can find them on sale run and get them but now we're gonna go on into the regular ornaments which I'm so excited for let me go get them all of my ornaments when it comes to ornaments, one tip that I have is to try to find ornaments and use hooks that are these little wire and green ones as opposed to these. This may be like a very small thing that people don't pay attention to, but with these, what I like to do is wrap them around the branches. So they're basically just like hanging from the branches and you don't see this wire. This just helps it look more seamless. I've seen like some examples of trees that use these green hooks versus like these like kind of silvery hanging hooks and the green hooks just look better and they're just like a little bit more seamless. So that is our next step last year i went for a candy cane theme as i said so i have a ton of like candy cane ornaments which i mean will fit it's just not necessarily like the vibe this year but we're still gonna go with it because i'm not buying new ornaments because i already have so many i also have that i got from amazon like a really long time ago because i need to incorporate some more green into this tree i always get a little nervous to add green into my christmas tree just because the tree is already green i don't want it to like blend in we're going for like a red gold and green thing so let's hope it looks good these ones have these little strings that came with them, but I have, oh, oh gosh, they're so tangled. They are so tangled. This is going to be so fun to undo, but I have a ton of these hooks, so I'm going to try to switch them all out. So now on into adding the regular ornaments. When it comes to regular ornaments, I try to find the ones that I like the most and put those in the center. I typically start with like bigger to small ornaments. So as we see, I use those like giant ornaments. Then I'll go for like my more medium sized ones and then small ones and just kind of add them as they go. But I like to start with the bigger ones and then go to the smaller ones after I'm done with those. It just makes more sense to me. I don't know why. it. 
I think that I always struggle seeing it come together. I'll do something. I feel like every single thing I've done, I'm like, eh, I don't love it. Also, I'm sure you guys can tell, but I've lost my voice. Like, my voice doesn't normally sound like this. Here it is so far. On camera, I'm like, whoa, it's so grand. It's so amazing. But in person, I'm like, eh, it's all right. There are some areas, like, I think that I want to add, like, maybe another little one right here. But one thing that I did, and I'm sure you guys are smart enough to know this. This is very obvious, but I tried to make sure I didn't have a bunch of the same shapes all next to each other. Like, you can see kind of, like, a bunch of circles. I obviously messed up. Like, I have two little ones here. Oh. But maybe not. Maybe that one will just stay there. Stay. <laughs> but I tried to vary like the shapes and the sizes so I didn't want too much of the circles next to each other. And then I really loved these white snowflakes. I felt like they really helped bring it all together because I feel like it was a lot of red. And so I thought like the pops of white were really nice because it kind of balanced it out where it wasn't like too much of the same thing over and over. So the next step is adding garland, which is red. I don't even know if this is technically considered garland, but it's just string and I'm just going to drape it over. This will always be the last step. Oh, it's so pretty. Like when it goes out of focus, it's stunning. This is the last step besides the star, obviously. But I think this is, in my opinion, what really brings it together. I always feel like this step is what really brings it together in my eyes. So I want to show you guys some tips on how I did this because I think it looks really nice. Okay, maybe maybe not so nice. Like it's just hard because it gets like stuck. But this string is also from Home Goods. I don't know if they sell it anymore. Check out Home Goods, Target, Walmart, Amazon for like these strings and ribbons. I wanted mine to go in a pattern like this where I would go up, swoop down, then go back up. What you can see what I did here was I did a swoop, it went up, I did a swoop, it went up. The one below it I made a swoop and then I went up. This one went up right here, which is in line with the bottom part of the one above it. So I wanted to make sure they weren't in line. They were kind of, what's the word, like opposite? I don't know what the word is. They were not parallel to each other. That was kind of the goal here. So swoop up and then you can see like the next swoop meets the lowest part of the one above it. I think that just makes it look nice. I personally don't like a super uniformed look. What do you guys think about this one ornament just like in the center? It's kind of bothering me. I feel like, I don't know if it needs like more small ornaments around it, but it just kind of is like the center of attention. So we're gonna do that. And then the last thing is putting the star above the tree. Growing up, that was like the best part about decorating the tree was putting the star. So I'm going to maybe like do some last minute touches and then we'll do the star. Is it crooked? I don't know. I hope it's not crooked. Look at it. Oh, it is crooked. Just a little bit. I don't feel like fixing it though. <laughs> My apartment is trashed right now. There's just stuff like everywhere all over the ground. But I thought I'd show you guys the little things that I've done. I vlogged most of it, but there are a few things that I didn't show. So I added this. I'm not obsessed with it. I'm truly not obsessed with it, but I'm fine with it. One little thing that I like to do that I'm not sure if it's cute or if it's borderline tacky. It's just kind of adding a little spice to everything. I added this tree. It's not the cutest tree in the world, I'll admit. I added this little string here. One thing that I really love doing is just like adding a little pop of something to everywhere. So I 
I added some string, some ribbon. I think that's cute. It's like a little Easter egg. Just like a little something. I have a little Santa there. It's a little reindeer here. Just really cute. I need to add some pillows and stuff like that here. I also really love doing this, like my books and picture frames. It's just adding the ribbon and making it look like a present. And then I also bought these. These are supposed to be ornaments, but they didn't even have like a little hook. They had a hole, but like that's it. So I just kind of put those there. I got this from Target. What I really like is the ribbon matches this. So they're kind of close together. So it just kind of like is cohesive. I have this little garland thing right here. Um, going on into the messy, messy kitchen. I added this little stocking. It kind of tilted a little bit, but whatever. I've had this since I was a kid. So I wrapped this little candy cane ribbon around this as well as this. Love that. And then I added these little peppermints here. I had this really cute. I also added one peppermint in there. I thought it was funny. And then I have some dish towels. If you hear my washing machine going, it's because I had some really cute dish towels, but they were honestly kind of dirty. So I'm washing them right now. Hopefully the stains will come out, but they've been in a bin for a year. So who knows? And then in this bathroom, my washing machine is going. I have this little let it snow uh, bath towel, mat, mat. And then I have this little hand towel. It's definitely wrinkly, but it has a little reindeer on it. I actually have the matching towel that I'm going to put in my bathroom. That was just my half bath that I have in here. It's like my half bath slash laundry room. I'm going to make my bed and add stuff to here. I added a little tree. My bed room is kind of a mess. And then I added this and then I'm going to change out this towel and this towel with Christmas ones. So we're getting there. We are, you know, we're making progress. It's a few days later. I wanted to show you guys the finished tour of everything that I decorated. Obviously, I showed you guys quite a bit as I was decorating, but I wanted to go through my apartment and show you guys where I got everything from and just kind of give you guys the full final reveal. Okay, walking into my apartment, here's what you see. I don't know where to start with. I think I'll start with this. So the Christmas stuff on here, this is from like a local boutique in my hometown that my mom got me. These are from Amazon. If it's from Amazon or Target or something like that, I'll link it down below. If it's not linked down below, it's because I couldn't find the link to it, but if you're wondering where something is, check below. And then I have this ribbon. I had it taped up here, as you guys saw, but it kept falling. So I literally just have it sitting in the bottom and I have this little house kind of holding it together. But that ribbon is from Home Goods. If you guys have any suggestions of tape or something that can hold this up that won't fall off and won't take any of the paint or anything off, let me know. I tried blue painter's tape and scotch tape. And then I have this. This used to be a candle that I used up. And so I just created like a little bowl out of it. And I thought I'd put like cookies or something like that in there. I have this. I've had that since I was a kid. I have some soap there. Up here, I have this little teddy bear with a Santa hat. It's an ASU teddy bear. I have no idea where I got it from at all. I had that candy cane ribbon around here too, but it also fell. I have some dish towels. These are from Home Goods. I have like a Starbucks cup. It just was like a pop of red. Over here, I have no idea where this giant stocking is from. I have this tree from Target. And then these, I think, are also from Target from a couple years ago. So if I can find something similar, I'll link it down below. This is from Home Goods. I also put that string around there. On my dining table, I put Put that little candy cane string around this as well and then over here I just kind of put the string and the ribbon a little bit everywhere that I had I put a little Santa hat up there I have a little Santa right there that my mom got years ago right here this garland is from Amazon I will link it for you guys and then this is from home goods as well little Santa hat up there hello that's me Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Over here is my living room. So I have these two pillows from Home Goods. I have this. I believe that is from Amazon. And then in here, I got this like from at home years ago. And then I have some blankets from Home Goods, and then one of them was like a DIY. One of my very favorite ways to decorate and kind of spice up a space is to turn things into little presents. So if you have picture frames or books, I kind of just put the ribbon around it. The ribbon is from Home Goods. This is from Target. I'll link it down below. And then these are from Amazon as well. That's a Trader Joe's candle. That's a candle from Home Goods. And then Obviously, we have my amazing tree that is being very backlit. Let's try a different angle. This star is so crooked. I have tried so many times to straighten it. I have gotten on my chair and straightened it so many times that I've given up. Love this. I'll link all the ornaments and everything that I can down below. This little tree, I don't even know what this is called. That's from Amazon. On my media console, I have this little garland right here. This is from Amazon. It came with all of this already on it, and then it has options to twinkle and everything. I have these two little ornaments that my mom got me. I believe that 
that's everything for the living space. Oh, I have this little reindeer that used to be my favorite childhood toy. It used to speak, but it is so old that it doesn't anymore. Okay, going on into my bedroom. Oh, I, I just hit the door. So I love my bedroom. I think this is from Target, and then everything on my bed is from Home Goods. Over here, this little tree is from Target, and then I've had this also for years. You can kind of see it's like falling apart. I put a little Santa hat on this mirror right here. Going on into my bathroom, I have this little bath mat. I have the other matching one in my other bathroom, which I'll show you. That's from Amazon. I have this towel set. You'll see it around my apartment. That is from Amazon. Those towels right there. We'll walk over to my other bathroom to show you that. Here's my other bathroom. I need to get a new soap because that's like very Christmassy. Not very Christmassy. It's very fall. This is the other bath mat that came in the set from Amazon. And then this is another towel that came in the set from Amazon. That is my apartment for Christmas. I hope that you guys liked this video and hopefully you guys got some little tips or some inspiration. I will link everything that I can down below if you guys want to get it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.